Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode, finally, of Hermitcraft Season 6. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and today we're starting off at the menu screen, weirdly, because yeah, I've not logged on the server in a very, very long time. And apparently, well, I've been watching the recap a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of stuff to go ahead and look at. So in today's episode, we're going to be slowly easing our way back into it because... More often than not, what happens when I come back from a break from Hermitcraft is I get, like, really, really overwhelmed. And as a result, I just feel like I'm really falling behind. So, what we're going to do is we're going to log on. We're going to have a bit of a look around the world. And hopefully, we should be able to find some new stuffs. Hello there, parrot. Hello there, dick dog. Oh, yeah. Everybody still here? I haven't been pranked. Hey, the villager's still here as well. <laughs> well, I'm actually kind of surprised about that. But anyways, guys, uh, everything's looking good so far. Uh, yeah, that's looking fairly good. I remember Evil Azuma rolling through here and uh, stealing some diamonds. I do remember seeing that uh, uh, in Azuma's episode a while back. Uh, but uh, yeah, everything's looking good, man. Everything's looking good. All right, let... Uh... What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, all right. Well, we've now got a very nice reason to look outside the back. What the hell? There is only one person who could do this. Scar. This is a Scar build if ever I saw it. Look at this. What the crap, dude? Oh, my word. Okay. Wow. So what is this? It seems to be, it almost seems to be like a whole bunch of dead trees, like a sort of Halloween build. I mean, obviously, we're about to edge into October, right? The month of Halloween. Uh, dude, what the hell? This looks incredible. Can you get up the top of the tree? Is that even possible? Oh my word, he's even started terraforming up the back. Dude, Scar is an absolute freaking madman. I keep saying it, man. He is an absolute madman. I mean, look at this stuff, dude. It's got, like, little scale mushrooms as well. Oh, my goodness me. This is unbelievable. There's even a thing down there. I'm not, I've am i got to be honest. I'm not even entirely sure if I'm, like, spoiling things. Uh, oh, there's not too much going on in there anyway. It doesn't matter too much. Wow. Okay. I think, to be honest with you guys, if I could fly, there we go, then, uh, yeah, I'll be able to show you guys a bit of a... Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, uh, we've got a whole bunch of shops going on. We've got the casino here. I actually helped Doc M test this bad boy. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You basically, you place in, I think it's a diamond block or a diamond item inside a chest. Uh, basically, you have to beat the bank. So, yeah, this would be our dice, and then the one on the left would be the bank's dice. And if your dice is higher than this one, then uh, you win. You win. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right. Let's uh, have a little bit of a look around again, though. See if there's anything else going on. There's a couple shops popping up over this way. Uh, um, okay. Um. <laughs> what the hell? Dude! I leave for like two and a half weeks and these guys just go absolutely bananas. Or galore. Ah, I believe this is an iJevin shop, actually. I remember seeing a thumbnail for his episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Four emerald ore for one diamond. Uh, 32 quartz ore. I mean, at least have the actual proper stacks there. Don't be lazy, dude. All right. Uh, what else have we got? 64 gold ore for one diamond. Uh, wow. This guy must have been doing a whole ton of freaking things, dude. Wow. That's pretty awesome. I might wind up, uh, you know... Becoming a patron of that shop. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is very, very nice. Dude, there is so much stuff going on. It's actually unbelievable. I feel like it's going to be worth uh, checking out the uh, rest of our bases as well in just a bit. But before we do that... Ooh, hey! Hey, the front of iTrade has finally been decorated. Dude, this is awesome. Uh, Sadly, the eye loot box is out of stock. Uh, what else have we got? The golden eye. Oh, he's selling gold carrots now. Is it one diamond per stack? Only it doesn't actually say. I mean, I'm assuming so. Oh, right, 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 right. One diamond per stack. Okay, fair enough. Stu, though. This is looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, mate, this is absolutely banging, dude. All right, so uh, I think it's going to be worthwhile us checking out our shops real quick just to see uh, what's going on. Uh, I'm not even entirely sure I've been, if I've been, like, wiped out of stock or anything like that. Uh, let's check out the flower pot shop first. Uh, oh, hey. All right, we got... Oh, oh, okay. Okay. We have got some sales. Uh, very nice. All right. So as per the norm, Zoom Avoid will get the higher percentage of the, of the half... Of the diamonds, so he'll get seven diamonds. So we'll go put that in his post box, and everything will be looking good. Uh, we'll do that now, just so I don't like mix up the diamonds with that of the shulker box shop, right? Uh, I don't even know if I've got like a piece of paper or something. Hmm. I don't know. Let's have a look around. And off to the post office we go, ladies and gentlemen. One of the other things I noticed is the fact that uh, some of the roadways have actually been completely redone. Uh, Wells like took on that task. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Hey, I'm kind of liking that. Kind of liking that. I can't wait to see this uh, all finished. Obviously, we've still got the regular pathways over here and, uh, you know, Cub's place here as well. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. You've got Wells Knight's place over there itself, which is really, really awesome. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, where's Izuma? Up here. Oof. There we go. Flower shop profits, twenty nine oh nine, uh, which is actually, you know, for once in my life, I'm actually doing a recording and uploading on the same day, which is very rare. I normally record like a couple of days or a day in advance or so, but uh, yeah, not bad, guys. Not bad. All right. So we are safe to check out the shulker box shop profits to see if there's anything going on here. Uh, oh, hey. Okay, so people have been uh, buying the popped cores. I'm kind of tempted to take that out and just amend this to one diamond per three stacks just so we can sort of, uh, you know, get rid of it. Uh, do we have an anvil? Yes, we do. Awesome. All right, so we'll have that for three stacks. We'll have that one for uh, three stacks as well. There you go. Nice and cheap. You love to see it, my friends. You love to see it. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, multiples of three. That one will have to be taken out because, yeah, you've got one stack. You've got two stacks. Three, four, five. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, let's check out this side. Oh, hey. Someone's bought the sword. Awesome. Oh, wait. No, the other Elytra. Okay, fair enough. Nice. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Shulker, sh shulker heads are gone as well. Uh, let's go ahead and amend these two. Let's make them a bit cheaper. Uh, let's say, um, I don't know, 10 diamonds. Go on. We'll, we'll, we'll do 10 diamonds because why not? Uh, one diamond for three pieces. Yeah, why not? There we go. All right, I, I, at this point, I literally just want to get rid of it. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, cool. So, now for the big boy. Let's, oh my goodness me. Whoa. Whoa. That, that's empty. Whoa! What? What? I've been completely wiped out! Oh my goodness me! What the heck? Alright. Oh my goodness me. What? <laughs> what? That is nearly five stacks of diamonds! Jesus! Okay, um, yeah, that's, that's a whole bunch. We've got more than a stack of diamond blocks now, guys. We can convert one of the uh, tier two uh, diamond beacons, or the tier two diamond beacon, we can convert it into a tier three one now. Oh my goodness me, though. I can't quite believe that. We are actually completely out of regular shulker boxes. We're actually going to have to go back to the end. And grab ourselves a whole bunch of shulker heads. Or shulker shells or whatever you want to call them. God, can't you tell it's been a while since I've played this game, huh? <laughs> wow. That is just nuts, dudes. That is nuts. Whoa. Okay, so Rendok has been making a whole bunch of progress with the uh, Hermit Rail Network. That's pretty cool. Wow. So that's like the central hub, right? So that's really, really awesome. Nice one. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly check on our aquatic base. Uh, we've still got some things to do here to finish it off. I mean, I do still intend on, you know, getting back to this and finishing it. But for now, I just want to uh, work on my modern area because I think that's going to be really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, this doesn't seem to be too much going on here. Although I might go to sleep here because why not? Oh my goodness me. What is going on with my sword? That is weird as heck, dude. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Okay, and I guess, obviously, the final place to check out would actually be my new modern area. So, we're heading, what, south? Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, even now, I still remember my way around the server just about. 
Just about, my friends. Just about. Okay, so, uh, all we got to do is continue heading in a southern direction. There is Izuma Void's place. Uh, oh, he's on the server as well. <laughs> cool, okay. And here we go. Yeah! All right. Again, doesn't look like we've been pranked. All is looking pretty good. All right, not bad, not bad. And, yep, we've still got all of our materials as well. Fan freaking tastic. Hey man, you love to see it. So one of the other things I did off camera while I was just sort of playing around, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff uh, before the move, uh, is I decided to put some wireframes of what's going to be going on here, right? So we're going to have ourselves like a house here. We're going to have a house here with a little side entrance thing for a horse. Uh, we've got ourselves, this is going to be a fountain and one more additional house here. So yeah, it's going to be a banging little area, my friends. It's going to be really, really nice. But I think for today's episode, I think... I think what might be a nice idea is if we head to the end and we do a whole ton of shulker killing because, yeah, we need to restock our shop because it is not looking very good, is it? We've got, like, basically nothing. <laughs> wow, I've got to be honest, I wasn't expecting the shop to be out of stock that quickly, but, you know. I mean, I don't know, you could argue it's been, like, two and a half weeks since I last made an episode, but I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, nice one. Okay, so I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else I need to go through. I don't think there is. I don't think there's anything I've missed. I mean, please do let me know in the comments area if I have missed anything. But for now, I think it might be a nice idea if A, I go buy myself some golden carrots because they are... Uh, believe it or not, the best food source you can get. Uh, well, probably aside from golden apples, but uh, yeah. Golden carrots are probably the best ones for saturation, right? So, yeah. We're going to buy some. We're going to buy a whole bunch of stuff, my friends. It's going to be amazing. And it might also be a good idea to... Wait, hang on. I'm just trying to remember. So, we've got the diamond beacon. The gold beacon, I think, is still tier 2, right? So, we could buy ourselves the gold blocks and make that into a tier 4 one, right? Yeah. That's a pretty cool idea. All right, uh, is there an ender chest around here? Ender chest. Oh, hey, yes there is. Fantastic. All right, uh, let me grab out some of these bad boys. Boop, there we go. All right, so we are going to buy ourselves. I'm going to, oh, what? Oh, hey, hi. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> All right, uh, should we go for like two stacks of these? Yeah, I'm kind of down with that. So that is one stack. That is two stacks. And I'll tell you what, for the sake of safety, we'll go for that as well. Uh, there you go. Hey, you'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. And we've got five stacks left. Uh, or we can buy five stacks of these with, with that. Yeah, look at that. Look at it, dude. you love to see it, my friends. Look at that. We've got a whole bunch of gold stuff. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Uh, I'm going to quickly go upgrade the gold beacon to tier four. And then I'm going to prepare myself to head to the end to kill a bunch of shulkers. Hopefully not die because I feel like every single time I go to the goddamn end, I freaking die. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get ourselves some cool things going. So yeah. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. So I guess while we're down here, we could also go ahead and upgrade our diamond beacon to uh, tier three, right? I mean, I don't really see a reason why not. So, yeah. Alrighty. But in the meantime, how's about we go ahead and uh, start upgrading this one to tier four? Oh, that is right, my friends. Oh, yeah, we're going to have ourselves another tier four beacon, which means another uh, second tier of whatever uh, effect we have on this one. I can't even remember, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. Let's head up. Let's get you all placed in. Okie doke. Okay, uh, I need that back. Thank you very much. And now, we just need to make our way out, of course. Yep, there we go. And all we got to do is just get out now, and we should... Uh, you know, when it actually comes down to it, we should have ourselves a tier 4 beacon now. Okay, so let's open it up. And yeah, resistance 2, my friends. Oh, yeah. You love to see it. We got resistance 2 now, right? Uh, wait, hang on a minute. Uh, boop. Yep. Yeah, resistance 2. We are basically invincible. Fan freaking fantastic. Okay, so, uh, the diamond beacon, I do believe, is going to be this one. Yeah, there we go. All right, so all we got to do is head down and give it another layer, I guess. And there we go, final diamond block placed in for the tier 3 uh, diamond beacon, so that's pretty cool. And yep, there we go, all is good, fam freaking fantastic. Okay guys, so we've upgraded two of the beacons slightly, one to the maximum, one to tier 3, and everything's looking good. Alright, like I say, let's prep, let's go to the end, and we're going to kick some butt. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the end, I'm just making a rudimentary enderman farm. Hello buddy, I just need an ender ball, just the one buddy, come on. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. All right, that's all I need. 
Oh, hey! As always, my friends, we tend to go ahead and actually explore the first end city together. Good day to you, sir. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate the shulker shells. The first two. Oh, my goodness me. Hey, and it is unexplored. You'll love to see it. Brilliant. Boom. Can you die, please? Thank you. Much appreciated. Much obliged. What have we got? Hey, that's pretty good. All right. So what else have we got? Uh, protection 2 on breaking 3. We've got some gems. Oh, wait. That's a thing, isn't it? Hasn't the, uh, has the custom villager been implemented now? I think it has. I think I remember seeing a video from someone about it. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start picking up some of these bad boys. Some end rods. Ah, oh, you love the end rods. Really, really do. We could always go ahead and sell them again. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Thanks for the dragon head. Much appreciated. And yeah, looks like we got ourselves a fairly hefty size end city for once, which is kind of amazing. And also, my friends, we shouldn't have to worry too much about falling anymore now that we have Feather Falling 4. Uh, it should be a little bit better for us. It really, really should. Good day. Good day. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God. Da oh, gosh. Freaking darn it. Right. Oh, where'd this go? Oh, hey. Oh, he's right there. Hello. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a bug, that is. It seems that after they've teleported, they never open up, but they still shoot. Hmm, go figure, right? Go figure. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay, so there we go. Hey, the Elytra worked for once. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, fantastic. Hello. Right, so then, start picking up some more of these end rods, because that's just what you do. I mean, I feel like these would be useful for the modern area that we've got going on, right? I mean, that's kind of cool. Hmm, I need to be able to get back in here. Right, let's get in here, and we can go up, because there's going to be a shulker box on top of here, right? Like, uh, on the ceiling? Yeah, there he is. Shulker box on the ceiling. Do 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 do. I'm sorry, I shouldn't sing. I was I was trying to make... Oh, God! Freaking done it. I was trying to make a parody of gold on the ceiling, okay? G get off my back. I can't sing, okay? I can't sing. Get off my back. I, I'm not about this life, dude. Jeez. Hello. Oh, can you, like... Can you, like, open up so I can beat your butt again? Boop! There you go. <laughs> what you gonna do, son? Uh, I don't even know what kind of quantity of shulker shells I really want to go for. I mean, I'm very much aware that the episode is already starting to get, you know, towards the end, as it were. So, yeah. I'm probably gonna go for something like two stacks or something. For the most part, I'm gonna do this off camera anyway. And if we find something cool, I'll bring you guys back. But uh, still, you know, I still want to bring you guys in for some of it, at the very least, right? So, yeah. All right. A ah, little bit of parkour. Oh, jeez, man. Ow. Hey, hey, stop ping-ponging me. That's very rude. Very, very rude indeed, sir. Hey, I'm going to tell your mama. Come on. Hello. Come on. Up. Oh, jeez. Go. Oh, oh, stupid projectiles. Hello. Oh. Nope. Nope. Not, not dying today. No, 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 no. I've got great armor, my friends. I am not dying today. No, sir. Alrighty, guys, so after that first end city, we have come out with 34 shulker shells, which is not bad. Enough to make 17 shulker boxes, which is uh, very nice. In the meantime, I made the mistake of looking at some endermen, so yeah. I actually got to about half health because my elytra takes up. Ah! Reduces the amount of armor I have by quite a significant... Oh, God! Freaking stupid sweeping edge. You made this one angry now. Jeez, man. Hello. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, sir. I have done nothing wrong to you. All I did was look at you. I didn't even look at you funny. I didn't even look at you funny. Come on, man. Come on. Right. Hello. Uh, I mean, one of these days, these guys might go away. Hello. Hello. <laughs> would you like a cup of tea, sir? I I would love a cup of tea right about now. Oh, that one died. Lol. And so did that one. Hey, we all good. Whew. All right. Let's keep going. And here we are once again at the Eastern World border at 6,000 blocks. For those of you guys unaware, we actually do this every season. We go ahead and put a world border, you know, fairly close by in one of the four directions, north, east, south, west. And we do that to sort of future-proof the world. So if there's any updates that add in, you know, different terrain or anything like that, then we could just go ahead, open up the world border and explore the new stuffs without having to go too far, right? So, yeah, I mean, to me it makes sense. So, yeah, awesome. All right. Oh, hey. Hello. Good day to you, sir. This one looks unexplored, considering all of the end rods are still here, as are the shulkers and is the dragon head. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, we've got another one. Fantastic. Hey, fantastic, guys. All right, let's keep going, my friends. Let's keep going. I'm going to say maybe a couple stacks of shulker shells, and then we'll head our way back because, you know, a full stack of shulker boxes is still a pretty significant amount, right? So, yeah. All right, folks. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and make this my last end city for today. I think we're just about up to uh, two stacks of shulker shells. Uh, let's just go ahead and take inventory of what we've got so far. Ooh. And boy, do we have a lot of stuff. Hey, in fact, we're going to wind up with uh, more. Wow, okay, so we've actually wound up with nearly three stacks of shulker shells. Wow, that's that's pretty nice. <laughs> hey, man, I'm never going to complain about that. Not only that, but I've got a couple spare ender chests as well, which is very, very nice. Now, all we need to do is get home. Now, the good news is I did spot a couple end return portals uh, along the way. Uh, wait, where's the ender pearls? I had some. Yeah, there they are. Uh, let's chuck that in there. And let's bring these with me. And yeah. All we need to do is just get home. And like I say, uh, I, I was lucky enough to find some end return portals. Uh, you know, along the border. If I can... Eh. Come on, can I can I fly, please? Thank you. There you go. You love to see that. Right now, then, all I got to do is just follow this along, and there was indeed an end return portal along here. So let's just find that. Let's get home. Let's stock up the shop, huh? Aha! Here we go, my friends. The home. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Okay. Um, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Um. Huh. Okay, um, that end return portal might be a little bit out of, <laughs> uh, out of our way. Those uh, endermen are, are rather mad and they're sort of guarding it. Hmm. Well, the good news is there was actually another one somewhere around here. Holy lord. Okay, let's try that again without angering a bunch of endermen. Uh, right. There we go. Hey, we back, my friends, we back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, you know, lesson learned. Don't anger Endermen who are basically guarding an end return portal. Oh, and now there's spooky music everywhere. Jeez, dude. Oh, what is this game trying to tell me, man? Oh, my word. All right, stocking up the shop. Let's get it done. All right, guys, let's get this thing done, huh? Oh, wow, we've got a lot of stuff to put in here. <laughs> oh, okay, right. It's still going. Lots and lots of shulker boxes, my friends. Lots and lots of shulker boxes. People are always going to need shulker boxes. No matter how many times they might say they have enough, they will always need shulker boxes, guys. There we go. So basically, we've got just over one and a half double chests worth of, uh, of brand new shiny stock. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, there we go, my friends. We've had a little bit of a look around the server, found some really, really awesome things. We've headed to the end, reduced our prices. Uh, all in all, pretty productive. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Sort of normal episodes will resume from the next one. But like I say, I'm just easing my way back into it, my friends. Next episode onwards, we'll be back at our modern area, making our first ever builds. And, guys, it is going to be a fantastic time. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to head down below the video, drop a like rating. It mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content. But yeah, guys, I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back in full force. <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you're looking forward to future Hermitcraft episodes. I certainly am. And, guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>